Hey guys, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Dragoon. In the last part, we got our butt handed to us on a silver platter by some armor, a sword, and a helmet, but then shortly afterward promptly got revenge. And in this part, we're going to get out of Fort Magred. So, let's do just that. I can tell you right now that indeed the therapy ring does cancel out the effects of the Soul Eater. Now Maru's addition for her double smack is done, as you'll see. So now she just needs to work on Cool Boogie, and then we'll move on to her fourth one whenever she gets it. For right now, I'm going to switch her back out for Albert, who is, other than Rose, the next one closest to getting his final addition. Uh, hang on. Plus, by the looks of things, he's about ready to level up, so <laughs> another reason why he should come along. Now, I really do need to get the tempo dot, tempo timing, tempo timing for Blazing Dynamo. Otherwise, I'm gonna have some troubles against some of the later bosses while I try to get SP after a special Dragoon setup. Dart is pretty strong with that Soul Eater. Gotta admit. And why, why does this walkway have to be that long? It doesn't even look that long. I almost feel like Hashel's pretty much done with summon four gods. That's just me, though. Let me see. Eight more, and yeah, I was, I was right on that hunch. All right, let's get back up the way we came. And ooh, I can't grab any of those chests. I'm gonna have to slide down again. Well, Dart needs a quick heal, which can be promptly distributed. And I don't want to return to the Crystal Palace of Deningard. Burning wit. Oh, that must be the ultimate uh, fire item spell. Thingamabob. <laughs> see. Yep, fire-based powerful attack. All... Let's see, what's this? Gushing magma. Those aren't all that helpful, to be perfectly honest. Well, found our way back through this cave. Just hop down, go back to this cave, take a quick breather, and then slide down to get those other two chests. So I'm curious to know their contents after, of course, a quick random battle. Alright, like I said, let's take a breather in this cave. rest a little. Just readjusting my headset. Nothing to concern yourself over. Alright. Let's slide down the mountain again and see if we can't find <laughs> grab those chests. How you? the world? Landed on both feet this time. I guess I have to do it twice. Uh, I'm not quite sure how that works. It's kind of interesting. But I do want those chests. We're crying out loud. Alright, Albert leveled up. That's good. Yeah, no dragon level up. I have a feeling that another one's coming up soon. I don't know why. I mean, Albert's not getting a whole lot of SP, and Hashel is. Speaking of Hashel, is his addition done? It should be. I don't know, two more to go. And if we get into another fight with a bowling and a windy weasel, we, we're definitely going to be done with it. So we can move on to the five ring shattering, we think. And then the flurry of sticks. Then we can finish off double punch, since that'll be his weakest, and then move on to hex hammer. Trying to plan out these additions so that way I'm not kind of going at it random, like going in order of when you got them. More like going in order from strongest to weakest. I actually messed up Hashel's addition during that fight. Okay, 
jump down. Jump down from over here. No! Do I need to, like, do it th three times or something? And, of course, Dart land lands on his head again. Yeah, I'm giving up on this chest. It's, it's no... <laughs> there's really no point. Is this raid not really all I'm doing is grinding? Or maybe that's... I don't know, those don't really look like chests. Quite sure what you're supposed to do there. Hashel is done with summoned four gods, so let's do a switch edition. I've been getting better at blazing dynamo. I'm not perfect, but I'm getting better. So now we'll move on to actually we'll move on to Flurry of the Sticks because it doesn't give as much SP. And now we'll go to those towers. I promised we would in the last part, but I've been sitting here just kind of doing my own thing. Alright, let's keep on moving. I actually kind of forgot how to do Flurry of Sticks, so I nearly screwed it up. It's uh, quite an interesting experience. Anyway, let's keep going. Now we're out of here so I can save and, you know, be all happy and hokey-dory. Not have to worry about much more. That's just the nice thing about the world map. Alright, now let's keep going on into the capital Velweb. Obviously, we're gonna have to fight through a few of our old friends, quote unquote, to get to the towers, but oh well, that's not too big of a deal. I'm primarily concerned about restocking right now, so I mean. Those two peddlers are going to come in handy. Oh, hi! Maru leveled up. That's good. God, those other character level ups always catch me off guard. It's like... <laughs> why not do that silently like it does in Final Fantasy VII? Just... I don't know. I don't necessarily agree with it at all. Alright, hash all of them. Which is decent. Let's just move on. I know those peddlers are down there, so I'm gonna have to get to them and buy some healing breezes and healing fogs, because I'm out of healing items. And that's not a good thing. It's actually a very bad thing. Just gonna keep going to the peddlers, pretend like nothing happened, because that was just a single witch. What's up, guys? Buy some weapons? No. Yeah, they're freezing their asses off. You might want to go see them. Guess I'll buy something. Bye. Healing fog, healing fog. Healing breeze, healing breeze, healing breeze, healing breeze. Definitely sell some items. No, not a Sun Rhapsody. Those are pretty important. Rave Twister, Burning Wave, Poison Needle, anything else? Nope, it's a attack ball. Probably never going to use that smoke ball. But it's a repeatable item, and that's kind of like, you know, part of 100% completion. <laughs> I'm only saying, it's not like I always try to do it, but can never seem to do it. It's more like, you know, just gotta think about it that way. Please hello. Just yeah, yeah. I've said hello to them twice now. All right, let's give everybody a heal. All right, now I'm gonna buy one more healing breeze off you. Yeah. All right. Now, guys. Oh, okay. I was like, am I stuck? Really? Ay, ay, ay. Well, we're almost there. Or at least to a safe point. So I can stop this recording. 
Alright, let's check the progress of additions really quick. Let's see. Gotta do that eight more times, and then you'll be done. I believe your damage will be up to 200%. Finish off five ring shattering and move on to double punch. Which, you know, that's a decent thing to do. The strategy, I mean. Alright. Rose, visit me again, but my power is at its limit. Please save the souls of the four dragoons who are our companions. Oh, that's right. Surely, you've done well. But we have to pursue Zeke now. I will trust you to save the dragoon souls. Mm hmm. But, uh, let's save. And so with all good things must come to an end. But uh, really quick, let me just show you what's up here. As you can see, you can climb up here. And then there's going to be like three towers over here. Well, one tower, which will lead to one of the four dragoons, and so on and so forth. However, we're not going to engage them right now. We're actually just going to cut the part off right here, and in the next part, I'm... I promise you, I will try to engage them, but no promises to whether or not I can win or not. So, I thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next part.